All right, so we got Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2 Security Breach. Oh, here we go with the scary game. Scary to video. Ah, here we go, man. Help is wanted. I'll tell you, I'm. I think you've got what it takes to oh, manage no. this perilous pizzeria. Test your skills and your nerves in this first-person horror game. You know what? It's As actually not that scary in, on, on Nintendo Switch. Pizzeria, you'll have plenty of job duties, such as helping performers prep for a show in the Pizzaplex salon. Ah, oh, no, I ain't doing that. high scores by playing nostalgic arcade mini games and hopping on attractions like a log ride. Sounds easy enough, right? But you'll be doing all of this while avoiding animatronic atrocities along the way. Become a Fazbear Entertainment Superstar in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2, launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. And if you're looking for more adventures in the mega, I'm not looking Plex, for more adventures. I'm not. Help Cassie find her friend and escape the ruins in this free story DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Oh my goodness, girl! You know what? Here, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this right now. Whenever it comes down to like, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Uh, never really was a big Five Nights at Freddy's like player. And what I mean by that is I never really played the game like that, but I always watched it. Like, I always, like, you know, watched my favorite YouTubers play it. I was never really the type to play it. Bro, listen, not even just Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm talking about any scary game imaginable, bro. I'm not here. Listen, I'm not psychotic. I'm not a menace. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like, a, like a school bully. You know, I don't just walk into my room and play scary games, you know, with the door closed, with the light off. Like, I don't do that. Like, and if you do that, bro, you're legit a school bully, bro. You go to school, you, you pick people up, you hang them upside down, and you shake so all the coins can come out. That's what you, bro, you're a school bully, bro. Bro, you're a school menace. That's what you are, bro. Because there's no shot that a normal human being comes home, close the door, turn the lights off, and actually plays, like, a scary game, like, without content. Like, like I could see it, like, if you did this and, like, you recorded it for content. There's no shot that, I, that there's actual people who play scary games like, like like what type of thrill do y'all get by playing these like i don't understand again like i i don't sit here and play scary games whatever like i'm not again i'm not a school bully but bro what type of thrill do you guys get playing like scary games by yourself I, and again i could see if it was for content like like if you were like you know recording yourself or streaming or whatever boom it's for content i understand like that that's completely understandable i'm a content creator just like you Boom. Do what you got to do. You can record 100 scary game videos. But if you just do it by yourself for free, like 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 no content, no nothing, just like door closed, lights off, whatever, you are a different type of breed. Let me tell you that, bro. And you know what? Round of applause. I said round of applause. Round of applause to the bravest a man or woman uh, that's watching this video. Because, again, if you play scary games, I'm not talking about like Resident Evil Village or nothing like that. Like that has like a story with it. Even though it is scary. That has a story with it. I'm talking about like scary games like Alien Isolation. I'm talking about Five Nights at Freddy. Like, you know what? And I might get jumped on for this. But I think Alien Isolation is scarier than Five Nights at Freddy's. I feel like if, like, if you get jump scared like once or twice, whatever, from like Five Nights at Freddy's, you will most likely adapt to the jump scare more. Bro, Alien Isolation, bro, it's not even a jump scare that scares you, bro. It's the fact that you can hear like their two ton feet chasing you you can hear like like sounds and stuff like them of them creeping up on you you can bro bro you can see them like just just zoom across like a train bro like it's crazy so again if i'm being honest with you you know like i i think that i me personally right i don't want you know the finance of five nights at freddy you know clan or gang to jump me or whatever like i'm not listen i'm just a, i'm just a uh i'm just a victim i'm just a i'm just a citizen you know I, i'm just like you okay I, I listen i got my opinions too um, but I think Alien Isolation, bro, that's a different breed, you know, like, like, and y'all, listen, you little Five Nights at Freddy people, y'all think y'all, listen, y'all think y'all can just handle any scary game, huh? Alien Isolation is a different level, I prom, bro, even Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, that's a nasty scary game, I promise you, that even, bro, that even, uh, shook me out of my boots <laughs> one time, uh, but yeah, whenever it comes down to, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, whatever, especially like when Nintendo Switch, I can't lie to you, I can handle this, I can handle this, but if it's in, like, HD graphics and, you know, um, like everything's more dynamic and stuff like that. I can't lie to you. That's when I'm in trouble. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about Final Fantasy Freddy's on the Nintendo Switch? Because they've been out.